there and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am super excited to share over the next several weeks, short interviews with some of my students. Now, these are students who joined my mini course from Doodles to Dollars, and then they came into my signature program, the Pattern Design Academy. And I think you're gonna be very inspired to hear about what they were doing before they learned about surface design and what they're doing a very short time after coming into my hashtag Anne's Universe. I also wanted to let you know that registration is open for my free mini course from Doodles to Dollars. All you need to do is go to members.artwithann.com forward slash doodles to sign up. I hope to see you there. Without further ado, let's jump in to this week's interview. I always like to start with, well, where are you in the world? So tell us where you're actually coming to us from, and we'll start there. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm coming to you from South Carolina, Beaufort. We've been here for just almost a year. October will be a year, and we originally moved from Houston, but we've traveled far from South Africa. My background is in teaching, so I was often asked by children to do drawings and things, and they, they are the best kind of non-critics, because whatever you draw is fabulous. So. I guess that boosted my ego. So I've always been kind of creative in terms of making things for children and just having that as an outlet. But then when we moved to America, I didn't go back into teaching because initially I couldn't work because I didn't have a visa. So I put my energy into writing a story for my son and started illustrating the book as well. Um, because I found out how much it costs to hire an illustrator. And then from there, I kind of wondered, well, what can I do with my drawings after that? And stumbled across your course last year. You're wearing a blouse, right? That is one of your designs. Talk about your sort of decision process and exploration as as you created more and more artwork to put out in the world. Sure. What appealed to me about your course and, and, and where it could go is the fact that you can take it anywhere with you. So with my husband's background and obviously family, we ended up moving around quite a lot with his career. Um, so, you know, I did obviously work in other positions, but to me this, this had the appeal that I could take it anywhere, anywhere in the world, and it would still be a passive income especially if, as I am at the moment, I'm on print-on-demand sites. So I don't have to hold any stock. You know, there's no money outlay. It's just time in terms of drawing and converting and having fun. I'm inspired by nature, so I love birds, love trees, love flowers, and there's just an infinite colour palette that you can choose from. So uh, I have one design here. Let me put it in the middle. Oh, it's so pretty. Put it a little closer to your nose. There you go. go. Oh, it's so pretty. So this this flower for the design is Cosmos, which is quite abundant in on the main roads in South Africa. So that was one of my my memory pieces. Obviously, I have this is one of my best sellers at the moment on Spoonflower. Oh, it's fantastic! It's fantastic. Guinea fowl. So, just to give you an idea, my drawing is this size. So, this is blown up, obviously, because you can do that on AI. Right, right. So, you drew it in this size, but then as soon uh-huh. as you put it in Adobe Illustrator, you could then upsize it and it maintains all of its beautiful qualities and yes. it's uh, very, very sharp and crisp and in focus. Mm-hmm. So, that bird, for example, you can now take the same drawing and put it on a card, but I didn't have an example of one of those. But what I have done is, so even if you can't draw, I thought I'd show you an example, even if you can't draw, you can do something like this. Very Mondrian. I like it. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. This is is what my son chose for his bedroom. So it, it hasn't been made yet, but it's in process. To be blinds for his bedroom. Lines can eventually become something like this. 
Yeah, beautiful. The birds so on the birch that, trees. That's what I see outside my back. My my kitchen window overlooks the birds on the bird feeder. So that was the inspiration for that one. And that's one of my popular sellers on Spoonflower. So people can follow you on, on Instagram. They can also mm -hmm. fo follow you and continue to check out your designs on both the La Galeriste, Le Galeriste website and also on Spoonflower, which is great. What advice would you have for people who are taking doodles? Well, if you're anything like me, in the beginning, I was very skeptical because you get so many freebie offers on Facebook and you get bombarded by ads. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I can always, you know, not do it. And Anne took me from not knowing anything about Adobe Illustrator, but taking a drawing and converting it into a pattern in just the doodles class. So, of course, I was hooked for the next step. But... You know, if you can't do the academy course, the doodles course will give you the skills to to use Adobe Illustrator. And, you know, everybody's in the same boat. You're all learning how to use Adobe Illustrator. You're all at different levels. Whether you can draw or not, it doesn't matter. You can make something. Exactly. And everybody, you know, is learning and you can ask questions anytime and they get answered. It's, it's a very supportive community.